Alrighty, B, what you doing today, boy? Making some fruit juice slash drink. You know, everybody saying too much of soda not good for you, it's not healthy, and you know, you gotta try and get some healthy alternatives sometimes. So, mm -hmm. I do make a nice little fruit drink since back in the days when our kids used to go to school. Yep. We used to make the, a mixture of Cherries, Cherries, passion, passion fruit, fruit, guavas, plum. Oh yeah, plum used to make a real nice. So, and the kids used to like that. Mm -hmm. So, it's something we're accustomed to doing, and you know, it's healthy. So I'm, I I normally put hands on anything I could get. So I got a pineapple. Mm -hmm. I got two Granny Smith apple. I got a beet. Well, we don't get the, um, too much tamron like back home, but I got a, a tamron concentrate. Yeah. It's like, you know, it's... So you're going to put two, two teaspoons, two tablespoons of this in it. Mm hmm And I'm not going to sweeten it with sugar. I'm going to use the dates. Yeah, boy. That's yeah. going to act as a, a sweetening agent. Mm hmm So... Plus, a lot of these fruits got sugar in them already, so... Yeah, they got sugar, but... You need it's a just lot. to add it, uh, you know, mm -hmm. bring it up to required taste. taste. I know, like, you eat a lot less sugar than me, so... <laughs> yeah, man. You know, you, some things that you call is really sweet, I said, no, it's, it's okay for me, but then you, you don't like too much of sweet. No. So, I'm going to prep this, then we're going to throw it in the blender. Mm -hmm. Are we gonna get it popping? Get it rolling, man. We're trying to get a little healthy in 2023, mm. right? You don't know. I want to see if this um this have added sugar. Only three grams of sugar in this, so this is good because they wondered if they sweeten it. No, it's not a time on syrup. Yes. A concentrate. So. So this is good. This is yeah, good. Yeah. Yes. Got seeds or anything to mess with, so. Mm hmm You just add it in there. And you're ready to rock and roll. Ooh. All right, so I'm gonna prep this. All right, go ahead and get it going. Yeah. And we're gonna show you what's going on. Mm -hmm. Yes, you see the dates. These are already fitted too. They have no seeds, so this is good. No trans, um, trans fat and anything in this. No cholesterol. No nothing. So that's very good, guys. Alright, Brian peeling and dicing his pineapples nicely yeah, here. Cut it in smaller sizes mm -hmm. so that it blend easily. And you remember back home, when we peel a pineapple, we have to keep the skin and soak it overnight. Yes. Or boil it to make drink. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing, I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to boil it. Mm -hmm. Strain it and that liquid I'm going to use to blend the fruits with. So you get all the nutrients out you of the pineapple. Know. Yes. Don't know, I'm wasting it. Mm -hmm. So we got a nice thick pineapple here. Let's try to smart the peeling because some people peel it whole. Mm -hmm. I cut it up to manageable sizes and then peel it. Yeah, this is smart for real. Yeah. Let me see how this. So you cover it with a nice water. Mm -hmm. And you got that going there. And pineapple is such a good thing for you too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I like when I'm making um, any food drink, I like pineapple. Add a pine in it. Yeah. Got a lot of good things in it vitamin C, bromelain. That actors are good um, with breakdown, not for your food and stuff, for digestive enzyme. This is good if you got a sore throat, mm -hmm. fine. Man, you eat this? Yeah, mm -hmm. help your sore throat. Sore throat help, help with the cold, you know, now it's cold and flu season. And same thing with the tambron. Mm -hmm. the tambron. The tambron is so good for cold. Yeah. It's so good for cold, boy. I know them guys back home that's boil the tambron with um board pepper, board pepper and garlic and, and, and honey and, and make, make a mixture man look 
And that thing knock out the flu. Yeah. The, when they was using it a lot for COVID. For COVID. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Mm. That that time run, and I I wouldn't say that it's a certain remedy, mm -hmm. but I heard a lot of people talk mm -hmm. about it, mm -hmm. and they said the tamron seed, the ripe tamron seed, mm -hmm. it's a cure for snake bites. Oh yeah, they yeah. said the tie down it, it there, right? They pung it up and tie it on there, yeah. and it draw the poison, right? Yeah, I. I am I'm pretty certain it, it is true because a lot of people I know, mm -hmm. some of the elderly people from the riverine areas, you know, mm -hmm. they believe in it, boy. I know because um, Mark, my brother, had got, gotten um, bitten with a labario. That's a, that's a bad man. And he said, that's what one of the natives told daddy when daddy took him mm -hmm. to use the tamarind seed too. Yeah. Because our antidote, it helps Maybe. to draw out the poison. I surely believe it works. So. This is, looks good. Yeah, man. So I'm going to do the same with my apples. Mm. Yeah, you don't um, peel it or anything. You no. just take out the seeds. Got the seeds are poisonous, they say. Yeah. We've got the... Um, cyanide. Cyanide in it. Mm-hmm. Percentage of cyanide it have because I don't know, but I said it makes you sick, so I say low percentage, but you know, no percentage is good where cyanide is concerned. Mm -hmm. So, and they know that the beets, the beets is so good for you all, so man, mm -hmm. so blood building. I like to add that in my little. A little Good. juice. It's not beetle juice. It's juice. <laughs> not beetle juice. <laughs> not beetle juice. But beetle juice is my favorite movie, boy. <laughs> All right. That's what I'm like, Beetle like, juice. <laughs> like beetle juice. I love his beetle juice. <laughs> Guys, tell us what's your favorite fruit drink to make. Oh, yeah. What do you guys like? Give us your blend so we can try it. Yeah, man. I know for a fact, plum drink is a really, really nice drink. And passion fruit. I love yeah, passion, passion fruit. fruit. Passion fruit is really good. But when we were younger, when we were little, we never knew about passion fruit. They didn't have passion fruit back in my day, man. They had Simitu, which yes, is a relative Simitou. of the passion mm -hmm. fruit. And Granadilla is a bigger, um, like, kind of version. Cause a big uncle. A big uncle. <laughs> But um, passion fruit, I didn't know about that when we were little. Mm -mm. It came in after. After yeah. that, everybody went passion fruit craze. I know um, when daddy and my older brother, my dad, if you guys know him, is Ivan Ali Kak, better known as Schilling from Linden. Yeah. He used to hunt every weekend, him and my older brother that you saw in the earlier videos when we went back home. Man, 12. 12, David Alicac, better known as 12. So, they, when they go hunting and they will come back with these wild sumatus that grow wild in the jungle. And it never used to be as sweet as the ones that you would buy, but they were wild. It had type of passion, fruitish flavor, but a little sweeter. Man, we used to enjoy that thing so much. And all those old types of fruits that, that back in the day, those wild fruits. Yeah, yeah they so were, much wild fruits. Mm -hmm. yeah. They would pick akadako and snake seed and... Um, when white tea was in season. White tea. Well, we had a nice rope white tea tree. Not cutting you. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to peel this either. What I do, I scrub the skin to get it really clean. And you You see. know so much vitamins are in the skin also, so... Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna cut that. Yeah. I'm not gonna peel it. Right. See so, that? Mm. See that color? 
Nice, a that's a spot. beautiful color. It is very good for you. I think I should cut it a little smaller, smaller. so that when the blender hit it, you can break down easier. Yeah, yeah, but those um, I knew Jay once time y'all y'all then had um the big white tea in the yard too. Yes, the big fat one, more white more, tea. They more call white it. tea. Yeah. And we had a rope white tea. Okay. Man, those things were delicious. We had so many fruit trees growing up there on the ranch. We had guavas and um, star apple, cashews, granadilla. We had so much things. Um, we, sour sap. We had something I, uh, yeah, guys, didn't have to. Ginip. Ginip. Yeah, we never had a ginip tree, but we had um, plum rose. The plum rose and um, fig. We call them chicken it. Mm -hmm. We had um, the bok cashew, that's the one with the seed on the outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ite. Yeah, y'all had a hoobody too. Yeah, the hoobody cashew tree too. Five finger. Oh, and yeah. lots of limes and lemon. Um, I'm gonna peel the ginger either. The cocoa. Oara, Corio, Cocorit. So many fruits, I tell you. Mango. Oh, the mango tree is still there. Yes, a big long mango tree. We had um, one more coconut. And you still, um, I didn't know this is not a fruit, but you have the coffee bean all still yeah, there. The coffee bean is still there. Yep. The cocoa and the coffee is still there. Well, we had, in Silvertown, mm -hmm. we had five guava trees. Wow, we had a lot five too. Five guava trees, and it was different tasting guavas. Mm -hmm. Each tree got its own unique taste. Yes. We had one, it's a sour, sour guava. Mm. We used to pick it and make a nice drink, or eat it with um, salt and pepper. Is that what I call the white lady guava? No, no, no that's not it. It's a normal wrong guava, but that one was so sour. Mm -hmm. We had a nice um, golden apple tree. Oh yeah, golden apple. Yeah, golden apple. Yeah. And um, with a little one name, goose, gooseberry, gooseberry. Gooseberry. We, we, we had that. We didn't have that. We had two sorry trees, yeah. five finger tree, a cherry tree, big mango tree, mm -hmm. and a pear tree. Yeah, we had pear. Yeah. We had gooseberry. We had so um the sorry. We had all of those cherry. You're gonna boil it. Yeah, I'm gonna boil this to extract a goodness out of the skin there, man. Okay. So I'm gonna use this to blend the fruits. So that's good. So that's what we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. so. But what I noticed mm -hmm. in Silvertown now mm -hmm. at the house, mm -hmm. Mark is planting some ginger. He got ginger and he have turmeric. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know those things used could have grown in that type of soil. Yes. They're growing nicely. Nice turmeric, fresh turmeric. And, and he have a lot of bananas. Bananas. You mm -hmm. have sour sap now. Mm -hmm. We had that before. We had that before, but not. it, it never really beer big ones yeah but he got it some nice big sour stuff nice big still ones. got the cherry tree there the mango tree mm -hmm. um oh yeah we had oh, a nice sidium, sidium yeah. and grapefruit granny reminded us about the sidium yeah mom said the sidium and we had the grapefruit which used to be some nice big grapefruit, I can't remember the grapefruit right next to the sour apple tree in yeah. the back okay. it used to bear nice grapefruit so many trees, and fruit trees. We grew up on so many fruits. Yep, and those fruits are most of those fruits are so rich in vitamin C. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, man, that was. And this then, kind of return, man. when the water low, we used to go walking up the sand beach, and pick baby fat book on the vine, snake oh, seed, those, yeah, those little, uh, monkey syrup. Old man guts. I can't remember what they look like, but my brother told me, Mark guts. told me that. He always tell me about old man old guts, man but guts I can't remember what it look like. A little smaller than the same beat I cut up. Uh -huh. And the inside, you cut it and eat the inside of it. Okay. It's and nice. would it look like white? No, brown. Yeah, brown. Mm -hmm. brown. Mm. Yeah. I don't And you know, you know what used to grow inside those rivers too? Monkey apple. 
Yes, monkey apple. Um, remember somebody was paddling in the boat, our neighbor, mm -hmm. and she went under the um, paddling, because we, we would paddle to go up the um, river and park the boat on the side mm -hmm. and hit the road to go from there. She was paddling and a snake fell out one of the trees in her boat. Boy. Man, she almost jumped out the <laughs> boat. It was so it was it wasn't funny at the time but it was funny her yeah, reaction. I remember but... uh my dad told me one night they hunting mm -hmm. and in the creek a snake same thing a snake if he, I don't know if he jumped or fell or what, but he ended up in the boat. Oh, gee. When he got in the boat, everybody out <laughs> the, the boat. boat. Yes. <laughs> but back to um, my brother Mark that you guys saw in the video. He's older than I am. He's the one just before me. We, my, myself and my younger sister, Yonette, Mandy, we would follow when the beach of water was low. Follow him and his friend footsteps up the beach to see where they went. And they would go like there was an old sawmill. They would go picking all these fruits. They would go by the neighbor and try to get her. She had big guinea trees and mango trees and stuff. Get some of her fruits. And we would blackmail them and tell them they have to share with us. Or we will go tell mommy that they picking the neighbor fruits. <laughs> <laughs> We used to terrorize those oh, guys. Wow. Another <laughs> thing that we didn't think, we always had a lot of sugar cane. Yes, sugar cane, sugar cane. Mm. We had a lot of sugar cane. And we had a little, um, we used to plant in the back where the pastures. Mm. That had a nice big gardens there. Um, we would plant corn, cassava. And you said in the creek, you had a lot of edo leaf, right? was a whole bed of edo leaf in the creek. And we would pick mm. fresh edo leaf. I love edo leaf. And man, we had so much stuff. I remember that um, digging the hole for the corn. And my brothers and sisters and I, we would have to put, and he would say, two corn to a hole. And when he's not looking, they would tell me, like, just throw the corn. Me and my younger sister would be the one dropping them. <laughs> we would throw them all over the field. And he said, when they burst out, they're going to know if you all put two to a hole or not. You know? <laughs> Next thing you know, corn all over, and he would just laugh. But I remember fond memories with that. He would um we would he would go pick the corn when they're um right? When they're full. Like in the evening he bring them a whole bag of corn and we would peel them and roast them. He would boil yeah, some and roast, roast some nice. roast corn and we would be um playing this game like you're eating roast corn and um you put peel off some and put it in your hand and they have to guess how much, how much? and whatever in your hand. It was so funny, like so much fun back yeah. in those days, eating yeah. all those fruits. So this is what my peel and chips fruits look like. So I'm going to get down to some blending now. Yes. I'm going to throw it in that bad boy there and give it a blending. I'm going to start my blending now. All right. So I'm going to mix these guys up here. Some apples. Ginger. The ginger gives it such a nice taste. Mm -hmm. But to me the trick in making these um these juice is you gotta leave it overnight. Anytime. Yeah, when you leave it overnight and that ginger soak in and draws, you know, mm -hmm. it tastes so good, boy. So that's what I like to do, leave it overnight. Yeah, the next day it tastes way better, right? Yeah, yeah. To me, any fresh fruit juice you make, next day does always taste way better. So I'm going to put like about 10 of these. Dates? Dates. Okay. I think I'll add this when we finish blending. Okay. This could add and just store in instead of having to blend it. And this is the pineapple that the, the pineapple that I skin that I boiled, mm -hmm. strain it out, and that's what I'm gonna 
We blend with. Blend with. So. Making so sure you get everything out yes, of the pineapple. Yes. So there we go. Gonna hit, give this a hit there. Give it such a beautiful color right yeah. away. So I'm gonna strain that off now. With a tamron concentrate looks like it looked like nut butter in there yeah. <laughs> or the, uh, the nutella the nutella yeah so i'm gonna strain this in the same pot okay smell like ginger boy Mm. Yeah, smell that ginger. So mm. so I'm gonna leave that. Drain in there. Drain in there and hit the next batch. All right. Got to press the salt to extract the juice. You need one of those, um, make the cloth, the muslin cloth. That's it, just strain it through. All right, so I'm down to my last batch, but I'm adding in some mint. Yeah, some fresh some fresh mint. mint. You just remember we had some fresh mint, so we yeah, add it in because it have a lot of health benefits. And gives it nice taste too. Mm -hmm. And uh, the second batch I add um, three tablespoons of the tamron. the tamron in it. And what was you telling me this mint is so good for Jay? They say it's rich in nutrients. Mint is very rich in nutrients and it helps with brain function and irritable bowel syndrome like those people who have food sensitivity sensitivity mm -hmm. and it helps with the, um, relief indigestion okay yeah so um cold they say it's good for cold symptoms too you see you know you have a lot of functions so it's good clean the cold out from your system probably and um they say it's helped with bad breath too in people so whatever you choose some mint leaf if you feel like you're getting a little more problem there going on so we're gonna hit this <laughs> finished product so I'm gonna give it a little sample a little taste to see how it came out if it needs any mm, looks so nice and rich yes mm. look at that bonsai bonsai you know what it needs what needs to be chilled 
<laughs> it's good. It's good? Try it. Let me see. Try it, dear girl. Tell me what you think. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Give me your expert opinion. You think it needs some more tamarind? No, it have enough. I feel it's good like that. It's good. Yeah, and it's not overly sweet, and you can taste the beets, the earthiness of the you beets. You can taste the beets, and you can taste the mint. Mm-hmm. I, the I did taste the tamarind. And tomorrow, it's gonna. You're gonna taste in the ginger. Mm-hmm. The ginger. No, guys, if you like would like something like this, or you want to try like a smoothie, you could put bananas, mm -hmm. papa, mangoes, avocados. Whatever fruit they like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you, that would make a nice smoothie. Yes. So, thanks for cheering out a little time in the kitchen with us. And yep. please share this video if you like it. If you haven't subscribed us yet, just give us a subscription there. Give us a big thumbs up. A thumbs up. And until next time, peace and love is the message. Keep the comments coming, guys. We're yes, enjoying yes, we those love comments. In the comments. Love in the comments. Yes, we take, appreciate you. Definitely, definitely. And take care, guys. All right. Bye. Bye.